All right, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your, your V6 style hot end. This is a clone, it's not an original, it's not an all metal hot end, even though it may look like it. Um, <clears throat> so th what that means is that the Teflon tube, the PTFE tube, is gonna have to go all the way down through the uh, heat sink, all the way into the heater block, and it touches the very tip of the nozzle. So it rides inside the uh, heat brake. So first step, we're gonna take the sock off. We're gonna get a two millimeter Allen wrench. Like this. And we'll take the heater cartridge out. We'll put this aside for later. And this should just slide right out. That's your heater cartridge. We'll put this aside so we don't damage the wiring. The wiring's pretty fragile. Then we need a 1.5 millimeter. And we'll take out the thermistor and put that aside. The, the wiring's pretty fragile on that too. And so now you're just left with your, with your hot end. And so if this is brand new, chances are that this is all still loose and you can take it apart. Otherwise, you're gonna have to get a wrench and take the heater block off. And so we'll go ahead and unscrew the heat sink. So we've got the heat sink, and then we have the heat brake right here. This is the heat brake, and we can take this out. Mine's brand new, so that's why it's loose. We'll take this out. So this is the heat brake and the heater block with the nozzle still attached. And so what we're gonna have to do is take this PTFE tubing and push it all the way down inside of the heat brake and then we're gonna trim off the top. And that way you'll have a separate piece of PTFE tubing inside your heat brake. Then your Bowden tube can just come up and rest against that. It doesn't have to be completely flush. If you try to stick this tubing, the, your Bowden tube all the way through this uh, fitting and then all the way down inside the uh, heat brake, it's very difficult to push this through because this is very slick material and it takes a lot of force. So what I found is if you can get your hands on one of these, this is a ferrule crimper for electrical circuits, and then you just thread it, you thread it directly on to the PTFE tubing. And the reason I do this is that it applies even pressure to all sides of the tubing. And then I get pretty close, and then I squeeze down just a little bit. And if I did this with a pair of needle nose pliers, I would flatten out the tubing. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure and try to push this in bit by bit. And I don't want to press any harder than I have to. I don't want to squeeze any harder. And there, I've got the bottom, the bottom of the uh, PTFE tubing is sticking out of the heat brake. So that's what we want. We don't want any gaps there because that's going to cause problems. The filament's going to come down and make a little bulge in between the end of the heat break and the PTFE tubing. And then you're gonna get jams and clogs and everything else. So now that that's flush in there, you can take some flush cutters and cut the end of this off. Just like that. And we can do the same thing on the other side. And we'll take this and save it for later. And so now we've got this tubing inserted inside our heat brake. And now we can put the whole thing back together. And it's kind of squished. The cutters, the flush cutters, they, they bend the tubing. So I take a little Allen wrench and kind of push it back into uh, a round shape. Like this. And now our filament's gonna have a very nice, easy path to go down the uh, heat break. And so we'll just push this back together like this. And you can put the heat break on like this. 
and it's still not completely uh, assembled, we're going to have to tighten up the, the nozzle once we get the, the printer assembled. We'll heat the heater block up and then we'll go ahead and torque down the nozzle. But for now, everything looks pretty good. And then when we put our Bowden tube in, we can just push it all the way down as far as we can and it's going to rest up against the heat break. So I hope that helps. That's, uh, I ran into trouble with uh, the first printer I put together. I was getting a lot of clogs and I did this fix and it, it solved my, my problems. Uh, I don't know if everybody's uh, hot ends are shipping like this, but mine shipped without the PTFE tubing inside the uh, heat break. So you don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I did it. And this is what solved my problem. So good luck.